Hi. So I use VirtualBox in order to manage my virtual machines. I know Word Manager or Word SH is a better choice for Linux, but I have already set up my virtual machines on Oracle VirtualBox. So I have set up scripts for that. So as you can see, I have five VMs here, but uh, the thing is that once I start a virtual manager, this dialog box remains here. Like uh, I'm going to show you here. So you see, even after a VM starts, this dialog box remains and I have to manually close it every time. Wait, let me shut this one down. Okay, so I do not like doing that. Instead, I realized that VirtualBox has command line utilities. For example, VBox manage list VMs. And you can see that using the CLI tool, I can list out the VMs. And therefore, I created a script in order to do that using the menu. So first, I use the same command that we have here and then use awk to split it using double quotes as the delimiter. So let me, let, let me show you. So you see, you, we have the double quotes here. So by delimiting using double quotes, we are splitting this into first into a null string and then mint. So the dollar sign two tells it to print the second column which would be mint and this goes for each line then i pass it to d menu which generates the menu for me on the screen now if the choice value that we had and that we receive from d menu is not set to anything that that is if we cancel uh, like for example let, let me show you Now, if I do not select anything and then cancel it, it tells me using notify send VM menu, no VM selected. So this is because as you can see, there is ampersand. So ampersand, um, this is called conditional expressions in bash. So you can look it up. If this is unset, in that case, it is going to run this command. But if it is set, then using the double type symbol we are going to run bvox manage start vm and then the name of the vm so if the value of the if the value of the choice variable is solus then it is going to run bvox manage start vm solus and the machine will start but then i also uh, put an extra condition that if this fails that is if for some reason the machine is unable to start in that case, it is going to tell me that uh, it was not able to start the VM and then tell me the name of the VM. So let us check it out in action. I'm going to run the pop OS VM. Oh, you see, this is how you can use on the script to run VMs using D menu.